Hi Church! Diyan na pala kayo. Welcome to our online devotion. Ako po si Dana at mag-encourage po ako sa inyo, inyo sa gabing ito. At um, sana let us con continue to stay watching with everyone of our family as well. Yeah, sa gabi pong ito, gusto ko po kayong bigyan ng update kung ano po ang nangyayari sa akin dito sa Australia. Just an update, dito po sa Australia, lockdown din po kami. Kami po ay um, hindi po pwedeng lumabas unless essential needs po ang aming gagawin like groceries or nag-work ka sa health organization, public transport, government official ka, or kapag ikaw ay nag-work sa grocery stores, yun lang po yung mga tao na pwedeng lumabas. Pag ikaw po ay lumabas at wala ka namang gagawin, magbabayad ka ng $1,000. So, better not dahil ma mahal po yun. At um, alam ko po sa atin pong lahat, meron po tayong 2020 goals. Meron po tayong mga plinano sa ating 2020. May mga desire po tayo na gawin sa ating 2020. Pero nagbago. Dahil dahil nga po sa lockdown na ito. At ako din po na frustrate din po ako sa totoo lang na dahil ako po ay kahit 2 years pa lang na po ako dito sa Australia ay marami pa po akong lugar na hindi napuntahan. May goals din po ako sa na mag-explore, pero hindi po nangyari dahil nga po, yun nga, nag-lockdown. So, kinausap ko po yung friend ko, ano bang parang solusyon kung papaano ko, parang, para papaano ako makakapag explore kahit na nasa loob ako ng bahay. Well, sabi ng friend ko, ilista mo muna kung ano yung mga dapat mong puntahan para paglabas mo at least, yun nga. Alam mo kung saan ka pupunta. Alam mo yung mga cheap places kung saan ka pupunta. Alam mo yung mga cheap na mga pagkainan. Alam mo yung cheap na bakit ba ito nakaharang. Bakit ba yung tubig ko nakaharang din. Pasensya na po, church. Kunting ano lang. Anyways, ayun nga. Sinabi niya na mag, yun nga po ang gagawin. Maglista. So, ginawa ko nga. Habang naglilista ako, sabi nyo, nangusap ang Panginoon. Parang he actually put this in my spirit. Sabi niya, ikaw ba? Yung plano mo ba mag-explore? Yung plano mo ba sa 2020? Iniisip mo ako. Gusto mo ba akong isama dyan? Kinoconsult mo din ba akong ang Bible mo, ang wisdom na binigay ko sa Bible? Sabi ko, oh nga, no? And then I realized that the presence of God, His presence is always with us and He wants His presence to be with us always. And, hi, yun nga po. Gusto ko pong i-share sa inyo sa gabing ito ang isang aking friend na isang rebelding kaibigan pero he was wildly saved by grace. Ang title po na isi-share ko po sa inyo sa gabing ito, kung nag-lista po kayo or nag-notes po, nag po kayo, ay Crescent Changes Places. I love the scripture sa Acts 16 verse 16 to 25. 26 actually. Um, kung alam niyo po yung verse, I know, tayo po ay Bible readers dahil nga po sa lockdown. Anyway, alam ko, alam niyo po itong nangyayari sa Acts 16, 16 to 26 na si Paul po ay and Silas is in prison. Napreso, napreso po sila. Naprito. Napreso po sila dahil nga po sa pag-share ng salita ng Diyos. At What I love in this scripture is that kahit si Paul ay na-lockdown, hindi po nagbago ang kanyang pag-iisip about sa Diyos. Hindi lang po na-lockdown si Paul, na-lock up din po siya. Siya rin po ay naka-chain. Siya rin po ay naka-kadena. Kadena ba? Alam nyo na po yun. At um, si Paul po ay yung paniniwala niya sa Diyos ay mas naging strong mas naging matatag. Alam nyo, hindi lang po sila nilagay sa normal na selda, mga kapatid. Pero nilagay po sila sa pinakailalim o pinakadulo na selda. Sabi po ng verse 24, basahin ko po sa inyo ha. Sabi po dito, the jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So, the jailer put them into the inner dungeon or parang inner na selda, pinakamalayo o pinakailalim na selda, and clamp their feet in the stocks. Pati paan nila nakakandado. Nakakandado. Para hindi sila makatakas, syempre. 
At yun nga, hindi lang po sila nakalockdown. Nakalock up din po sila. Yung buhay ni Paul, before po, ay nagsishare siya ng salita ng Diyos. His daily lives, we can see na maayos ang buhay niya. At suddenly, he was locked down. He was locked up. Parang tayo, may plano tayo sa buhay. Meron tayong trabaho. Meron tayong mga ginagawa. And suddenly, we are locked down. And I, and I know, dito sa Bible, sa inner dungeon, sa inner cell, sa inner na selda, alam ko siguro, wala, maybe, or siguro totoo, sa inner dungeon na yun, walang ilaw, walang pintana, walang pintuan, walang, wala lahat, walang kuryente. And I can guarantee you na lahat po nang nanunod ngayon, lahat po tayo ay meron tayong ilaw, meron tayong pintuan, meron tayong bintana, meron tayong wifi, meron tayong cellphone, meron tayong laptop. So, ibig sabihin that our place is better than the place Paul and Silas were. At hindi lang po sila nakakulong, nakachange pa sila. Pero what I love about Paul is hindi po nagbago ang kanyang pag-iisip. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang pagkakaalam sa Diyos. Nagbago man ang lugar niya, na lockdown man siya, pero he knows in his heart that the presence of God is still with him and is still and is going with him. That even if he's locked down and locked up in that particular cell, in that particular place, his plans to seek the presence of God never changed. His plans to point people to God never changed. His plans to love God never changed. And it says in verse 24 to 25, Yun nga, so the jailer put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in the stocks. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. In just one verse, marami, pa, marami po tayong matututunan. Because it doesn't matter what the place is. It doesn't matter where we are in. It, the presence of God matters most for us. Tayo mga Kristiyano. And even if the place where we're at right now change, but we can still fulfill the promises and the plans of God for our lives. Amen. Amen. Just like Paul. So ano po ba ang mapag-aaralan po natin sa buhay po ni Paul sa binasa po natin Bible verse? Number one, he began to sing praises to God. Verse 25, around midnight, Paul and Silas were praising and singing hymns to God. See? They were singing hymns and they were praying. That no matter what happens to him, no matter what changes happen to his place or to him, the praises of God is always in his lips. That he knows that the God that he serve, he knows to praise, he knows to pray, he knows to connect with the God that he serves. Because Jesus never changes, mga kapatid. Jesus never changes. And it actually says in the Bible that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So even though nagbago ang sitwasyon po ni Paul at ang lugar niya, he can still say, God, you are still God. God, you are still good. God, you are still on your throne and I'm gonna still sing praises to you. So I encourage you, mga kapatid, let us begin to sing praises to God in this lockdown that we have. Let us begin to sing worship and praises to God. mag ka man or you're with your family, sing together. Because why not? There is blessing in unity. Kaya, mga kapatid, gusto ko kayo encourage that we sing praises to God in this lockdown, just like Paul. Number two, you are not alone. The Bible says in the same verse, what I love here is dahil kahit na iisang verse lang, verse 25, ay marami po tayo natututunan kay Paul. At um, verse 25, it says that, yun nga, 
they were singing hymns, Paul and Silas. And he knows that he is not alone. He stay connected with Silas. He knows that even though, even though na nakaka problema or nasa inner cell pusila, he didn't isolate. Paul didn't isolate himself. Hindi po siya nagmukmuk, hindi po siya nagtago, but he stay connected with Silas and encourage him to keep praising, to keep praying with one another because he knows that when he connects Silas to God, there is something changing in the atmosphere. So, I encourage you, mga kapatid, as well, that you keep praising and worshiping because the God that we serve never changed. Invite your family. Stay connected with your family. If you're not with your family right now, text them, call them, pray with them, encourage one another. Kung yung magulang yung ay hindi nakikikonek or they can't pray or what what not, call them, pray for them. Because the Bible says He will never leave us nor forsake us. The Bible says that He still has plans for us. And maybe you're questioning me, Sister Nana, papaano ako makikikonek? Eh, mag-isa lang ako, nasa abroad ako, particularly like me. Or, nasa work ako palagi, Sister Dana, or lagi akong mag-isa dahil yung pamilya ko nasa ibang barangay o ibang lugar. Kapatid, you're doing it right now. Nakikikonek ka sa online devotion natin. So keep connecting with us because we are one family. We are one body. We are one as a church. And stay connected as well with your your family or your friends, your pastors. Kung may mga prayer requests po kayo, just pop it in. Dito sa, group, sa page po natin at sa page po ng, ng um, Dagupan Church page. And we can pray for you. Everyone can pray for you. Everyone, we can pray for one another. So I I encourage everyone to please stay connected just like Paul did with Silas. They keep connecting. They keep praising. Maybe, siguro si Silas medyo malungkot na siya or medyo nawawala na siya ng pag-asa. Parang tayo, nakalockdown din po tayo. Minsan siguro nagtataka na tayo, ah, oh, parang ano nang mangyayari sa ating future? Ano na ang mangyayari? They don't know what's happening inside the cell, inside the prison cell. They don't know what the future may hold. They don't know kung maaalis ba ba ang mga chains nila. But then, I know, siguro sinabi ni Paul kay Silas, Hey, sing a little louder, kapatid. And we can do it as well. We can do it together, kapatid. Tell your friends, kung nawawalan na siya ng pag-asa, kung natatakot siya, Isikagyura, isikagyura, i-message yura. Sabihin niyo sa kanila, Hey, kapatid, sing a little louder. Hey, kapatid, let's pray together. Seek God even more. Because this is our prayer, this is our power as a church to connect with one another, to be strong and uniting in one another, uniting in the presence of God. That even our place may change, but His presence as a church his presence with us as a church, as a family, still remains. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Number three. Ano pa po ba yung mapag-aaralan natin? Una is Paul began to sing praises to God. Number two, he is not alone that he stay connected. Number three, your labor in prayer and praise and worship affects the world. Just like Paul. See? Isang verse lang po itong pinag-aaralan natin actually. But then we can learn a lot. It says here, Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. They began to sing praises. And the other... Watch out, people. Watch out, church. The other, peop, the other prisoners were listening. You see? Paul and Silas didn't only affect themselves but they also affect everyone around them. All the prisoners were listening, guys. Lahat po siguro ng selda. I know, lahat ng selda nakikinig. Well, Paul and 
um, Silas were singing, all the prisoners were listening. I wonder, church, what can people hear in your prison cell? Ano ba ang naririnig ng tao sa inyong selda ngayon? Is it your anxiety? Is it your fear? Is it your complaint? Is it your doubt? What can we hear? What can we see on your social media? Is it your fantasies or whatever? Are you singing? Are you praying? I know, wala pong, wala pong ganyan. Dahil, wala pong ganyan sa church po natin, no? Dahil I know that we trust in God and I know that we put our hope in Him as well. Kaya kapatid, I am encouraging you right now, ikaw na nakikinig, that your labor in prayer, your labor in singing praises and worship to God, affects the world. You see, if we continue to do this, we can see positive outcome coming our way. What I love in the remaining verses is that the atmosphere changed. The atmosphere changed because of Paul and Silas. There are people who are who. These are because Paul and Silas. Sila yung mga tao na hindi nila dini focus yung sarili nila about God. Paano, what if they remain? What if they remain in the cell, being quiet? What's gonna happen? Nothing, right? But for them, they know that the power of God is with them. They can share it by singing and by praising, just like we are. Even if we're here, lockdown po tayo, we can still help people by singing praises, by praying for them. You see, ang sumunod po ng mga verses dito, all the people were set free. Lahat po, there's like, um, ang sabi dito, uh, there is a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to all its foundations and the doors immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off. Naalis po. Lahat, lahat ng prisoners chains. Lahat ng mga kadena po nila sa kamay. And you see, people were set free because of them, because of these people who keep praising and worshiping God. They affect everybody. So I'm encouraging one another. I'm encouraging you to keep singing, keep praising your labor is not in vain, mga kapatid. You are affecting the world. You see, there are, because of our prayers, there are people na nag-negative sa COVID. There are people na patuloy na gumagaling dahil sa sakit na to. At ito po yung opportunity para sa mga tao na huminto, mag-slow down, and to see what God is doing and what He is going to do. Because through our prayers, we can set people free. We can find freedom for those who are in need. Amen. Amen. And the verse here, in the remaining verses, dito, nung na wala na po yung, I mean, nagka-earthquake na at lahat ng selda ay bumukas, natakot po yung jail guard. Ano pong nangyari sa kanya? Gusto niya na pong patayin ang sarili niya kasi akala niya nakatakas na po silang lahat. Ang sabi ng Bible dito, Ang sabi po sa Bible, the jailer woke up to see the prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped, so he drew his sword to kill him. But Paul shouted to him, sabi ni Paul sa kanya, Stop! Don't kill yourself! We are all here. Nandito kaming lahat, wag mong papatayin ang sarili mo, ang sabi niya. And then, sa mga sumunod, ang sabi dito, the jailer called for lights to run and run to the dungeon and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? You see? Yung gwardiya tinanong niya, What should I do to be saved? And then Paul says, You just have to believe and confess and confess about God. Believe in Him and confess it and you will be saved. Your whole household will be saved. And maybe you're tuning in right now as well, like the jail guard, na naririnig mo itong online devotion natin, that you can hear all our pastors 
praying for everybody, all our worship team worshiping with one another, and you'll be like, oh, you, you, you'll be like the jail guard. How will, will I be saved? And I know maybe you're tuning in, nasaan ka man, nasa sala ka man, nasa kitchen ka man, nasa garden ka man, or nasa garage ka man, nasa labas ka man ng pinto, or nasa uh, SM ka man, silo ng manga, or nasa toilet ka man. I don't know, I don't care. But what I care about is that God loves you so much, kapatid. That He is always for you, that He is for you right now. I mean, not right now, but He's just waiting for you to come to Him, confess it, and believe in Him. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter where you've been through. It doesn't matter how bad things, yung mga bad things na sin sinabi mo. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how bad you think you are. What matters is that He is waiting for you and because He is for you, kapatid. Maybe dumating sa punto na kailangan pang mag-lockdown for you to, re for us, or for you to know the goodness of God. Pero hindi pa ito, hindi ito yung huli, kapatid. Hindi pa ito yung huli. This is a time that you need to get close to God. Ito yung pagkakataon for you to be close to God. Dahil I know His arms are widely open for you. His arms are waiting for you to embrace you, to love you. Because His plans for you are the best, kapatid. And I, I know, here in the Bible, Paul and Silas prayed for that jail guard and I wanted to do that as well for you. I wanted to pray for you. I wanted to speak life over your life. And if you can raise your hand if or if you're comfortable, if you, you can raise your hand or if you can hold your heart or if you can pray with me, let's do it. And ikaw din, I know some of us are saved already, but then we have friends in mind na hindi pa na safe. If you can pray with me as well, while you have them in your mind, at least we can speak life over them as well. And I would love to do that for you. So let us all pray and believe and confess that God is for us. Amen. 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 You can follow up after me in this prayer. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for your unending love. Thank you, God, for being there for me. Thank you for die dying on the cross for my sin. And thank you, God, for you died on the cross and you rose again. Thank you, God, for the salvation. Thank you, God, that your plans for me are the best. That your plans for me are higher than myself, God. That are higher than my thoughts, higher than my plans, God. And today, tonight, I receive, I receive your plans for me. And I want to walk in your truth, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God, for the salvation. To you be all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name. Even for us, mga kapatid, I want to pray for you, your family, all of you who are tuning in. I want to speak blessing over your life. Let us all pray. Dear God, thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity that we can talk, we can walk, we can hear your words, God. I pray, God, that we continue to sing praises to you. We can, we can continue, God, to put praises on our lips, God, about you. We can continue, God, to stay connected. We can continue, God, to pray for one another because we know, God, that we are affecting everyone else, God, in the world. I pray for the world, God. I pray for your healing upon our world. I pray, God, that you wash away all fears. You wash away, away all anxieties. You wash away all doubts, oh God. And I pray and speak blessing to every family listening right now. I speak, God, for your provision upon them. I speak, God, for your protection upon them. I speak I speak, God, for unity. I speak, God, for our churches, God. I speak even, God, for all the people who need something right now, God. Finances, food, clothing. I pray, God, for your provision upon them, Lord. Protect us and keep us safe, Lord. Help us to stay strong, God. To you be all the glory, Lord. All the praises and adoration. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, church, and continue to tune in for our Sunday services. God bless. Keep praying.